Yeah, so the rest of this footage is fucked up beyond fucked up. I mean, beyond mere audio syncing problems. Um, really inexplicable considering that I can get Gears of War 3 to, or Gears of War 3, fucking Gears of War Ultimate Edition to record pretty fucking well now, if not perfectly. So, um, I'm just going to do a synopsis of what happened, uh, between this episode and the finale, I opened a door, I used a crane to get across a chasm, shot some dudes, picked up some shit, I think I died at some point, um, and then I pushed some more buttons, I went to an elevator, and that's pretty much a fucking episode. <clears throat> but where's the content, you may ask? Oh, do I have a treat for you! Oh, do I have a treat? Where is it? Ah, here we go. Let's see. Let me make sure I get all the credentials right so nobody has a bitch fit. This is... Let's see. A little piece of fan fiction called Imp Encounter. Originally by a guy named Taylor. This is off the Doom World website. <clears throat> I'm going to speed read the Cove average normal shit and slow down when it gets really freaky and disturbing. You're welcome. Here we go. A crackling ball of lightning caught Taylor's shoulder as he took a rolling dive across the ground in front of the tall pillars that stood guard in front of the compound that looked for all the world like a human skull. The structure was impossibly large embedded into the volcanic surface of hell. The all-too-familiar bloated red gas balls that floated across the bloody battlefield drew a curse, and he put away the shotgun and grasped the chain gun that had become his trusted ally against the quickly approaching airborne menace. <gasps> they moved faster than they looked capable of. That he had learned, and that would not be much time left before he would have to engage them in closer quarters. He stood up snarling wordlessly, the chain gun slung under an arm spat controlled fire. He had to deflate as many of the uncom incoming fiends as he possibly could. Deflate? Okay. Perforate would have been a better word, but whatever. While dodging or trying to absorb the vicious waves of charged projectiles. It was going to be close, he saw, because he was starting to run low on ammo, while the wave of Keiko demons, that's what they're called, still looked close to endless. At last his chainsaw spun empty and he threw the useless weapon to the ground and drew the chainsaw darting... darting in... Okay, this is word for word. Darting into a turned floating head and daring to hold the chainsaw to the demon as it ripped through the thick hide that held the demon's coherence. Okay. In and out, dot, 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 in and out. The dead, cre the dead Keiko demons piled up around him until at last some minutes later. That might as well have been hours later. He stood alone and unchallenged among the strewn bodies of his enemies. <coughs> Then he staggered and uncertain and had to clutch one of the tall pillars that rose, rose claw-like to the sky to keep himself from collapsing to the ground. He knew that he had taken serious injuries. His hand came away bloody as he wiped sweat from his forehead and, sharp instinct, and a sharp, insistent pain in his midsection told him he had used up all of his luck. He looked to the backpack he had shrugged loose to the ground before he began this fight and half crawled, half walked to it, seeking out the one last pet. The one, that one package of last resort the supply officer had issued. Okay, there's a period between package of last resort and the supply officer has officer had issued him. There needed to be comma there. I'm spell checking fan fiction fuckers. <sighs> and every one of the other Marines a dire warning on the use of the Berserker pack, the ampules contained within it had the power when combined to start triggering all sorts of physiological effects, both desired and adverse, he had to become more familiar with the red haze that would fall over his vision, that was of strength and sense of power it imparted, and the insanely fast healing that would take place as the medicine course through his body, he would need all of it now, he thought as he was stared at the imposing building in front, Taylor flung over the top of the pack, and kind of, okay, and he does the drugs, and it freaks him out, okay, rising to his feet, and first and steadily, but then with growing skill and ease, yes, I skipped a paragraph, fuck it, it's boring. Taylor took a quick survey of his numerous injuries, turning his bloodshot eyes towards the enormous 
death's head before him, then began to limp, then walk, then run, then sprint into the escaping maw. He had left his provision, provision, provisions, that's just my pronunciation fucking up, not a text error. He didn't need them, an empty chain gun and a near broken chainsaw, worthless now, his vision warped and blurred as he leapt over the nearest statue's teeth, racing down its go imps. Twenty, no, f twenty-four of them were perched inside, waiting for him, beckoning for his approach. With magical gestures, claws of flame began springing forth from their outstretched hands. But Hiller was too quick for them, jumping and diving and leaving the walls of fire like an unstoppable juggernaut. He clenched his fist in the heat of tempered steel, weighing a thousand pounds, but light as a feather, hung back as he raced to meet the first two reaches before whipping forward, driving right through the ugly gray beast's head. Blood and ratings blowing from the imps' faces and flew back ten feet. More fire, more flame. The imps carried his flame changes. Okay, more of him being a badass and the amorphous pinger. Okay, more skipping that shit momentarily confused. Okay, here we go. Here, here's where it gets sick. Momentarily confused, he stood there and stared through the bloody haze that clouded his vision at the lone imp that hid, crouching behind the pillar that held at its tip a still beating heart and wondered why he had not killed it already with the rest. Suddenly his breath caught, and he realized with his heightened sense of smell that the horned creature there was a female, it's a lady. You all know where this is going, seeing also for the first time. At the same time, the small rounded breast tip not by wickedly sharp bone, but by rounded, rounded nubs of calcified deposits. All the angels of the male imp form softened into a feminine shape, and he was so gloriously aware that it was female, period. He realized that the magnificent creature that was attempting to hide from his fury was frightened of him, and hot blood coursed through his body, arousing him. Hardly believing what he was doing, he stepped towards the imp, which looked to be of an age that he thought no more than just into full adulthood, in shock, responding purely to his instinctual hormonal desires, he pulled to imp to her clawed feet as she st stood here. Trip. That's one word. Stood here. Not stood there. Just stood here. One word. One word. No spaces. Just stood here, trembling. His roving gungry. That's how he spelled it. R o v i n g u n g r y. G R Y. Roving on Greek gaze, crawled up one side of her leathery body and down the other, drinking in what his eyes beheld. Tightly grasping the sheam by the shoulders, he spun her around, flinging her against the un uneven wall. Though, wait, through the rough cobbled surface of her skin, he could feel a spike protrusing, scraping against the wall as the imp struggled slightly against his mighty grip. His gun started between the imp's eight spider like eyes, pure black, reminding of of pools of still water that darted between the imps and what? Oh, between each eye. Okay, I get it now. The imps stared back at him, panting heavily, jerking unconsciously against the iron grip of the rain. Some you know, why she was not dead yet. Taylor could tell that the imp was scared. It was an expression he'd seen countless times from the dim eyes of every demon or zombie he'd slaughtered, the haze lifting it. Split second before they expired when the grim lies Okay, badass, stupid shit, but this one was different. His vision pumped red with every heartbeat. For, for endless months, he battled the spawns of hell with no more human contact than the occasional corpse. For months, he had been alone, desperately alone. It was not the thought of death which filled his mind with terror in the quiet hours for he had long expected to die. Instead, it was the thought that he would never again connect with another human being, another sentient creature. For what seemed like forever, he'd only commune with the demons of hell, and even their vain attempts to destroy him could have held solace if he'd detected a note of real intelligence behind their actions instead of the puppetry of a distant power animating their flesh with a mere semblance of order need for action. But in this empty heat that he held here, he detected something special. That's my addition, not the original content. But in he thought he detected a gleam of real intelligence, if not of a soul, then whatever patch for such a thing done. Okay, seriously, if you're this desperate to dick something, you're probably not going to give a flying fuck if it's sentient or not. Anyways, skipping stupid Freudian shit, and you pass the opportunity, how long it has been, most years, barely a 
all the time. So now, moving one hand over his arm, he began shrugging off the outer layer of his combat armor. Oh god, here we go. In the back of my mind, the last remaining small shred of rationality I told him that his standing standing his thoughts were nothing but justification and all he's about to do. The victim was in a Oh god, victim. This is non-consensual activity. She says, is it times and we told him was Oh, this is gonna be not... Yeah... Okay... Yeah, I don't want to give this an AO rating. Plus, this, this is not a consenting thing, so... I'm probably... Yep, yeah, yeah, just about time to end the thing. So, yeah, read it for yourself, because... Yeah, I don't do non-consent shit. I'm not Japanese. I don't get off that way. I'm sorry. Look at what hente is. Tell me I'm wrong. Or hentai, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Jesus Christ. Okay. So that was some abridged fan fiction bullshit because I fucked up my episode. Um, the last one will not be quite as fucked. The first part of it might have some sinking issues, but I have tried to fix the Shadowplay era's errors. If it doesn't work, I'm ripping that fucking video card off my PC and getting an AMD. Fucking NVIDIA needs to get shit together. Fucking variable frame rate bullshit, man. No other goddamn video capture thing does that. Fucking bullshit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, links in the thing. For fun and victory, this is Mr. Killstick signing off and regretting that I ever read that shit. Holy hell.